Hey guys, welcome back. And today we're gonna go over the rest of this board so that we can start building our own. And the first thing I wanna do is figure out how this board converts this 1.5 volt battery voltage to the two volts we were seeing in the last video. So if you look at this board right here by the input, there are two regulators. You can see these little inductors, there are two of them, and there are also two ICs right under them, as well as some capacitors. So these are definitely some kind of regulator, and more than likely they're boost regulators because we, we were taking 1.5 in, getting uh, 2.0. So let's pull up a data sheet for a regulator, a boost regulator, and see how they work so we know where to probe. Okay, so here is a data sheet for a boost regulator. Uh, it's a TPS61071 from Texas Instruments. And if you scroll down, you can see there's a typical application circuit. And you have, for this example, you have 0 0.9 volts. You have an inductor and an output voltage of 3.3 volts. So it's basically taking in a 0.9 volt voltage, converting it to a 3.3 volt. So if we want to probe around on our circuit board, we need to look for that capacitor and see if we are in fact getting a higher voltage so that we know that this is the boost regulator. So here on the board, you can see there are some capacitors right next to the regulator. So we're gonna be probing those capacitors and see what kind of voltages we're getting. And we have two of them, which is kind of interesting because we only saw two volts. Uh, I'm not sure what the second one does yet. So we'll probe around and see if we can figure out what the second one is doing. Okay, so back to our oscilloscope again. I'm gonna go ahead and probe the input. And there's the input. And you can see on the bottom there, it says 1.3 volts. So that's my input. And here's the first capacitor. I'm gonna probe. There you go, you can see on the bottom, it says 2.08. So that's, our, that's the output of our regulator. And let's go ahead and probe the other one. And this one's showing 3.7. So I actually have two different voltages on this board. I started following the trace to see where that 3.7 volt went. And I actually found it right at the LED. And that's the only place I found it. So they're, I think, only using this regulator to drive this blue LED. Okay, so the next thing I wanna probe is this LED. And basically this LED lights up the image sensor and it's, and I expect it to be pulsing. So like it's taking pictures. Let me actually probe this. Okay, there you go. You can see it's pulsing like I expected. Um, and it's pulsing pretty fast. On the bottom here, I have also have frequency. You can see it's about two kilohertz and the voltage isn't that important. So that's basically the infrared LED taking a picture every 2000 times per second. And here's the other side of the LED pretty much. It's just connected to that two volts. It's not doing anything. Okay, next I wanted to look at these buttons. And really the buttons, there's not much to it. When you when you click on them, it, it shorts. So there's no probing necessary. There are two buttons on this board and there's some extra buttons that plug in in this connector. That So we don't need to probe any of that. And then the last part is this hero sensor. And so what I wanna do is start probing all the different pins on this sensor and and make a mark or make a note of what these each line is doing so I can figure out how to hook it up in the next video and see how to talk to it. Okay, so I'm gonna start right here on the top. Here's the first signal and we can see there is definitely a signal there. It's at one kilohertz, but I, I wanna zoom in a little bit. Okay, there's, so basically it looks like some kind of a select signal. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a note of that. The next one is a little bit different. So this one looks a little bit like some data. Which is cool. Let me see if I move around the board. Uh, my mouse is moving, but nothing is happening. So that's just fixed data. Here's the next one. Okay, again, I'm gonna move. okay, here you go. So now when I move the mouse, so if I don't move, it's it's like that, there's no data. But if I start moving, you can see that data is definitely changing. So that must be my, that must be the data coming off the sensor. And the next one is just a clock signal. So 
classical, you know, classic SPI. It's looking like classic SPI. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the clock signal. And then there's just a bunch of power and grounds all the way around until I get to this pin here, which which looks exactly like my LED signal. So that must be my LED driver pin. And then again, after that, just a bunch of grounds. So nothing happening there. So I pretty much probed everything and this is what I came up with. This is the diagram. So you can see all, all the grounds on top on the side and then all the data that I was able to collect. So in our next video, we're going to hook up those signal pins that we just probed to this logic analyzer. And then we're going to be able to see what all the data that is going back and forth between the microcontroller and the sensor actually mean. Okay, see you in the next video.